Hey sweeties, it's Michelle. I wanted to do an empties video or things I've used up this month, project pan, whatever you wish to call it. Um, it's not that I haven't done one of these in a while. I've been really, um, it's been one of those weeks is all I'm going to say. I'm going to be making a video about it eventually, but I have been like, oh, like seriously, ridiculous. Like you, you have no clue. Like Murphy's Law. Look at that. Murphy's Law. Anyway, I'm going to start with my candles. And oddly enough, um, I've been using a lot of tea lights lately. So I didn't really get through that many candles. I think this is the last one from my... This was a blueberry parfait. It was a really old candle that I had um, from Walmart. I got in clearance years ago. They were actually very pretty. If you look at my first video that I ever did, it was a um, candle collection video. And you will see what this looked like before it was burnt. They were actually quite pretty. Um, they don't really have a smell or... It didn't have much of a throw. The smell was actually very artificial once you started burning it, but it didn't get that much of a throw, so it was kind of stinky. Next one is Lemon Cello, and this is a mini from Bath & Body Works, and I love this candle. Oh my gosh, it's like Lemon Pez. It's just amazing. Raise your glass to this fragrance inspired by Italy's beloved drink, Lemon Cello, which is notes of Sorrento lemons cane sugar, and a hint of lemon zest, but it smells like a lemon pits. Oh, so good. So, so good. Um, definitely upset that they, well, I mean, I love the fall, and I love the winter ones as well, but I really hope that next year that this one comes back, because it is incredible. Next one, um, this is about a year old, and I'm not sure if it was re-released for this past year. Um, this was White Palm. The packaging is very pretty. I'm actually thinking about trying to save this one and maybe put seashells or something in there. I haven't decided. Whoa, where just like got out of focus there. Um, this one, mm, another great one. Like a warm Caribbean breeze, refreshing white palm leaves and dewy greens combined perfectly with sweet peach blossoms. Honestly, to me, this smells similar to Copper Tone. Not quite as in your face, but very, very similar. Um, but I'm thinking about, like I said, um, cleaning this out and using it as a, um, like a decoration in the bathroom kind of thing. I know I had somebody recently ask about a candle making video. I am working on that. Um, like I said, it's been a very, very stressful, very crazy week. And there's been a lot of views that I've been meaning to shoot that I haven't yet. And that is definitely on the to-do list. So definitely keep an eye out for it. It is coming. It's just like I said, guys, I will make a video on this whole experience as well when the time comes. Um, the next one is called Tiki Beach, and this is another, I like anything um, ocean related, if you haven't noticed. And this one is a scent as warm as Sundays, a luxurious blend of toasted coconut, vanilla musk, orchids, and restor resort glamour. I almost said restaurant. Well, I've been to resorts. They don't quite smell like this. But it is a very delicious smell. You could definitely, there's like a milky coconutiness, obviously, because there's coconut in it. I can definitely smell that. It's definitely a toasted coconut. But it's milky. It's like a toasted milky coconut, which is kind of odd, maybe. I, oh, this is the vanilla musk. Of course. It makes sense, does it not? Anyway, now I want to go through my little, I'm just going to pick things up in no random particular order. Um, the first thing that I've used up is these cotton rounds. Um, these ones I think I got from CVS. I honestly didn't like them. I ended up using them for my, um, toner. I originally bought them to remove, um, nail polish, but I didn't like the way they stuck to my nail. I, I mean, I know a lot of people use these things. I just didn't like the way it felt. I like the ones that have a little tab on the back where you can hold them. Um, I would not purchase these again. I have this thing about... I don't know, maybe it's just a weird phobia of mine, but I don't like the way pure cotton feels, like like that kind of cotton. Like, I don't mind cotton clothing, but that is like, like ugh, it freaks me out. I don't know why. It just does. I will not be repurchasing those. This is one of those things and uh, I've purchased half a million times over now. I actually use two boxes of this. This is the Aveeno Eczema Therapy Bath Treatment. Absolutely love it. Um, worth its weight in gold. I, ugh. And it is... National Eczema Association approved. 
amazing guys if you can find it it's worth it i got this at the christmas tree store for $2.99 if you're near a christmas tree shop definitely go check it out um i know it's not in all states so definitely look it up but i know other areas sell them as well and there's different packs as well next is a bubble bar from lush and this was temple of truth and temple of truth looked like a little white um Candy Mountain, just like a pure white Candy Mountain. And it's a very clean scent. I really enjoyed this one a lot. I think this is part of the retro line. I think it's only available online, but it's worth it. You can get like four baths out of one of those. Next, and uh, I'm using a different version of this now. I like it better. I think I'm going to switch to that one, but it's still the same company. This is Pure Silk Sensitive Skin Therapy um shave lotion i really really love this stuff i like it way better than um like skin intimate ones because the gels i've noticed even though i used to like swear by skin intimate the gel doesn't give you as thick a lather as this does this is like it's made by barbasol so if you ever seen like the like a men's shave cream like the old barbasol ones it's thick and very creamy but it doesn't have the disgusting smell that barbasol unfortunately has um, and these come in raspberry, just like the Skin to Mitts and all kinds of other really good flavors. And I'm telling you, there is such a difference between shaving with this and shaving with the Skin to Mitt ones. So I definitely, if you haven't tried Pure Silk, I definitely recommend it. I can't say enough good things about it. Next, I used up this. And I had originally bought it for Joe, but I had run out of my shampoo, so I ended up using it. And I was actually pleasantly surprised with um, how wonderful it worked. This is Finesse Self-Adjusting for Consistently Beautiful Hair Texture Enhancing Shampoo. Um, I got this on clearance for like $2 and I had a dollar off coupon. So I literally paid like a buck for this thing. Um, and I always thought of Finesse as one of those brands that was just, you know, low, lower line, um, not that really great quality. But I used it because the one day I ran out of shampoo and obviously I needed to wash my hair so I ended up using this and I loved it because I saw such a difference in my hair from the first shampooing um I would probably purchase finesse again um I wouldn't make it my everyday one I switch up my shampoos um I stay between certain brands but I always switch it up because your hair gets used to the product after a while and you're not benefiting from it anymore so I always switch up my shampoo um but this was a very pleasant surprise and it was very it's very reasonably priced as well so Next thing I used up oh, is slightly gooey, and um, this is Charity Pot from Lush, and this was for 350.org. It was they were doing a special at the time, and I love the smell of it. I think there's rose water or something rose related in it. Almond oil, lang lang, but I, I smell roses when I smell this, and it's a very nice lotion. Um. I like the consistency of the Bath and Body Work lotions better, but um, I did like this. I did notice that it did help with my eczema a little bit. Um, wasn't too bad. Would I purchase this again? I'm not sure uh, if they had it on sale because I got this one for I think five bucks or something like that as a trial. So this was really good. Um, probably. I don't know. Um, I got so many lotions though. I probably wouldn't buy it unless I was running low. But I had experience and it was on a deal at that point. So yeah, this was, it smells really good. I really do enjoy that too. Next, and you've seen one of these almost every video, you know what it is. It is fresh picked apple soap. <coughs> oh, that was bad. Oof, I'm sorry. Smelling too many things here. Anyway, I love this smell. I don't know who doesn't love this smell. It's just, just like being in an orchard. It is so good, and I will definitely be doing a video when we go apple picking. That's going to be a lot, a lot of fun. Anyway, um, it's just clean, fresh, delicious. Put it in your bathroom, put it in your kitchen, put it anywhere you have a sink. Everybody will love this. I don't know anybody who doesn't love apples. Next is I used up my Viva La Juicy Juicy Couture Viva La Body Lotion. Um, I don't really like these lotions that they give you. Honestly, I don't even think people really buy these things. I think they just come in the packs. But I do love the smell of it. It's so good. I love Eva La Juicy. Um, this actually was in my desk for a very, very long time. It took me a while to use it. Um, very, very nice, though. I really... Um, 
This one was one of the few that surprised me. I wouldn't go out and buy these because I really don't like the designer lotions or the shower gels. The shower gels are just crap in general. Um, but the lotions, um, this one wasn't very bad at all. So if I got another set, actually I do have another set. So I will be using it again. Um, it's pretty good. I but I love Viva the Juicy. But it's just the fact that it's a designer lotion that I don't like. Um, but it's not as greasy as some of them and it has a nice smell and lasts a long time. I always like to stick my hand in here. Next, I finally used up this. I'm not a big fan of rollerball um, perfumes. I just don't like them, especially since they're made out of glass. You're supposed to carry them with you and look, they break. So I typically don't like using them. I like spraying on with the bottle and I keep a, um, like a refresher spray with me that's made out of plastic. But uh, this I finally used. This was my Paris Hilton's Fairy Dust. Again, it came in one of those kits. And I love this is one of my first um, perfumes that I got for my collection. Paris Hilton's perfumes are just one of those things that I think they're universal. Like for any age group, anybody, um, they, they're one of those things that you have to have in your collection. Kind of like the Britney Spears ones, which I, I don't have, ironically. But they're those scents that just everybody loves. And I think Fairy Dust is definitely one of them. It's a very, very good one. Oh, my foot is falling asleep. Next is this bar. It was handmade locally. This was in Lavender Rose. It actually lasted a long time for a very, very small bar. Um, it's made out of goat's milk and essential oils, which I really, really like. I love the smell, but at the time, I had a very bad outbreak of eczema. So it wasn't maybe the wisest thing to use on my eczema. I'm trying to, like, stay in frame here, too. Okay, there we go. It wasn't the wisest thing to use for my eczema, perhaps. Um, because of the essential oils in it, I think that might have had something to do with it. But it was very hot and stuff, so I'm not sure. But it did smell good in the areas that I did have eczema. I felt wonderful. Next, I used up this Bath & Body Works Bonjour in Pink Bloom. Um, I originally bought it because it had this cute little poodle on it, and it was glittery. And so it was the, um, um, the sanitizer itself. Very nice floral scent. Not too in your face. Very, very nice. I really did enjoy this one as well. I love pack back. Like, who doesn't? Anyway, guys, this is getting to be like 13 minutes long. I'm going to do a part two next because I don't like um, making these videos so darn long, even though they get that way. Anyway, so I will see you in a minute. Bye.